Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number 8 and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about events. So up until now all of the code that we have been writing has consisted of simple statements that run or get executed as soon as our web page opens. But there are times where we're going to want our code to run only after the user has clicked a button or filled in a form or hovered over a certain area with their mouse. And to do this, we make use of something called an event. Now, an event is basically something that happens on our web page. And most of the time, these events only occur when the user actually triggers the certain event. So there are quite a few different types of events and I'm not going to be able to go through all of them in this video but what I did do is I made a list on my forum. So if you guys go ahead and just open up my YouTube channel you'll see there's a link at the top of my YouTube channel to my forum. Go ahead and open that and I will also place a link in the description below this video to this web page which is on my forum and basically what happens is if you go visit this page I've got a list of all of the events that can occur in JavaScript and also a list of when they occur okay so let's go ahead and take a look at this on click event over here okay now this occurs whenever the user clicks on an element okay so let's go ahead and use this in, in an example real quick. Now, first, I actually just want to show you what happens whenever we write our code in our script section. And to do that, let's go ahead and alert something out on the screen. Okay, so this is different to actually just writing something on the screen. We're actually going to make a pop-up box appear. So to do this, we just write in the word alert, followed by parentheses. And inside here, we can use quotation marks. And we can actually write out a message on the screen. So our message will go in between these two quotation marks. So let's go ahead and say, you have opened my web page as the message and we go ahead and end this off with a semicolon because this is a statement go ahead and save this and when we run this in Firefox as soon as the page runs you can see we've got this alert box that appears and it says you have opened my web page go ahead and click OK and we can proceed now let's take a look at doing the exact same thing but only after the user has clicked a button so let's go ahead and delete this and let's go ahead and add a button on our screen so to do this we have to add in a form not a forum a form and end form okay and by the way if you guys don't know what I'm doing right now go back and watch my HTML videos and then you'll be good to go because you'll understand what this is okay and let's add in an input of type is equal to button and we'll set the value equal to click me and we can go ahead and end this off for now so let's save this go back to Firefox and click refresh and I think we're actually done with these so we can close them and now you can see we've got this button on our screen that says click me but when we click it nothing happens. So now what we can do is actually go ahead and add in a third attribute and the attribute that I want to add in is our on click event listener. So go ahead and type in on click because we want to use the click event and then we can go ahead and set this equal to something okay and what I want to set this equal to is just an alert so now in between these two quotation marks we can actually type in normal JavaScript code 
and let's go ahead and type in alert and we need to end it off with a semicolon at the end there and inside here be careful because we've already used double quotation marks for our on click attribute of here so we don't want to break out of that by accident so inside here I'm going to use single quotation marks and that'll work just fine too and let's type in a message that should be alerted so let's just say you clicked me go ahead and save this and now when we go back to Firefox and we refresh whenever we click this button we'll get an alert box that appears on the screen that says you clicked me so click me you clicked me and this is actually fun I think I could do this all day click me you click me okay cool anyway now what we can do is take a look at another event so let's go ahead and change this up a little bit in the code and instead of using the on click event let's use the on mouse over so on mouse over and this will happen every time you move your mouse over an element and what we can do is we can change this to you hovered over me okay and let's go ahead and change the value over here as well because this might not make sense so let's just say hover mouse over me go ahead and save this and now when we go back to Firefox and we click refresh instead of clicking on our button every time I move my mouse over the button the alert box will appear so let me go ahead and move my mouse over the button boom as soon as we move the mouse there it says you have hovered over me go ahead and click OK and we can go ahead and do this again as soon as we touch the button there we go cool so that's just basically what events do and uh, how we can use them now don't forget to check out my forum and look at that list with all of the other events so that you guys can play around with them and make a whole bunch of cool stuff happen but for now that's all I have for you so goodbye thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe